Hello everybody and welcome back to the Bass Guitar Build Series. In the last video, we got the top veneered, which is looking lovely, so we're gonna try and get that glued on today, as well as work on the headstock. So let's go. See, I took this top out of the clamps and the veneer is sitting nice and flat. However, some of the glue hasn't properly dried around here. But this isn't necessarily a bad thing because it's pretty solid around all these edges, so the veneer isn't coming off. It is fixed on there. It's just in these voids in the middle where I guess air couldn't get to it while it was being pressed. So the veneer is still, like, it's got a skin on it, but then if you break through it, it's still a bit wet. But that means that I can cut this excess veneer off in here and clean the glue off while it's still wet, which is obviously easier than cleaning it off while it's dry in these voids. So I'm gonna make the most of this opportunity now and get clearing it out. There we go, that is all done now. So you can see right through them and I've cleaned up the inside edges a bit. So now, like I said, I wanted to sort out the headstock. So this means sticking on the two wings and then I managed to get enough buckeye to make a headstock out of it as well. Doesn't really look like enough, but it fits the template. So we're gonna glue the wings on and then hopefully in the same day, get this pressed on as well. But I need to make sure that the glue on the wings is secure enough before I start clamping this onto it. So I wanna get this done early. So now I'm gonna mark the angle in which the head sock needs to be cut. So I've got the nut slot here, then I've got 10 millimeters or so to back up the nut there, so it's supported from both sides. And then I need to leave enough room for it to scoop down into the headstock as well. So the bottom of this scoop is what I'm gonna be transferring across. So it's gonna be right from this top corner, about 14 millimeters from the material that backs up the nut. So let's measure another 14 down this side. And then we'll cut this off and hope that I put those truss rod heads in the right place. Oh God, if I hit one of these now. Oh yeah, any opportunity to use this. And then we'll get this nice and flat. So it's not perfectly flat at the moment, but I'll finish it off once I get it all glued together to uh, even out any small undulations in it. So let's get a dry fit done. Looks good to me. So you see we've got the book match going on with the oven coal as well. And it matches the sort of sweep or shape of the headstock as well once I stick it on. So that should be pretty nice. Um, let's get it dry in. So while that's gluing, we're gonna get the voids and stuff in this Buckeye Burr top lined up with the ones on the body and obviously refined so that the lines in this body follow the outlines of the Buckeye. Did that make any sense whatsoever? We'll roll with it. Buckeye will go on there. Now I'll just leave it in its resting position. I don't want to be twisting it round or anything because I won't be able to do that when there's cramps in there obviously. So down on the neck, resting position like that. And then we'll just push it down and do a nice outline of each of them. And then we'll do some refining. Got myself a new gouge look. Oh
Now I've just got to re-dye a few of these areas, so I think what I might do is just pour the dye into here and then dip my finger into it and then just rub it in it. No, I'm not going to do that, don't worry. I know I've got so much flack for not using latex gloves when doing this, and once again, I've forgotten to buy them. So I'm going to pour it into here and then um, somewhere, there we go. I've got a brush to apply it because I might be going out for a nice meal or something tomorrow. I don't want to make it look like I've been punching a squid or something like that. That sounds like a really weird metaphor for some reason. Punching a squid. Comment below for what that might mean. Right, so I've been refining all of the voids in here for like the past hour and a half which has taken ages but i think we're pretty much there now they're all black and dyed and everything they look pretty good so by this point we can take the headstock out the cramps it's not ready to be pressed with the buckeye yet but i can take the pressure off it for now so what i would like to do now is cut out the void here the big v one and the one at the bottom as well because that'll be easier to do while the buckeye is separate as opposed to trying to hack it out once it's uh, all glued together so we're going to do that now and i think well i'm hoping actually i can trace through from the back Ooh, bit of tissue can i get through there yeah possibly So that is looking lovely on the body now, but before I glue it on, I need to get it all sanded and make it look pretty because it's going to be difficult to get to these edges around the neck here. So might as well sand the whole thing now. Uh, I've never sanded epoxy before. Don't really know what I'm doing if I'm aiming to cut through it and expose the wood below and then hope that some epoxy's sunken into it or maybe leave a thin layer of epoxy, but then I've got small ripples in here so they might show up. I'm just going to do it and See what happens. We live and learn from mistakes at the end of the day. You ready? <laughs> Love it. So it's time to get this glued onto the body, I think. At least I hope it is. So I've got the bottom side of this all keyed up using the hole saw again. So it all scratched up so the glue has something to bite onto and I've done a little bit on the body as well. Also, I have parcel taped over a lot of the cavities so that when I put glue on, it doesn't start seeping in. But then before I stick this on, I'm gonna peel that glue off and then hope I don't get too much squeeze out going into those cavities. I would leave it on, but I'm just worried that you're gonna see that little edge of parcel tape on the inside of all the joints. So yeah, I'm gonna peel it off. The only exception to this being the cavity that brings the wires from the pickups to the cavity because that one cannot get glue in it whatsoever because there's no way of me accessing it. So that parcel tape is gonna be left on. So to layer this up, we have got a bit of plywood on the bottom, exactly the same shape as the body to support the clamps from underneath so that I don't accidentally start clamping into the cavity and things like that. And then we're obviously gonna have the buckeye on there and then I've got another one here which is going to sit on top of that. And I've cut out these little windows here so that I can see if the buckeye is pressed up against the neck. Because once this top is on, I cannot see anything through it. So I think it's gonna be time to go with this. So uh, I've got a paintbrush to do it this time to try and get a nice thin and even layer. Again, to prevent too much squeeze out. Oh man, this is just terrifying. Come on, is this the right thing to do? Put that on. Right, we're going for it, we're going for it. Oh. Right, and then while that's gluing, oh, I can pick glue off my fingers. Oh, my favorite part of the day. So while that's gluing, um, this headstock, I think that's dry enough. So I'll start flattening that and uh, if I have enough cramps, I'll stick the Buckeye on. If not, then I'll just wait until the next episode to do it. But I should be able to nick a few from here by the time I've done this because that'll start to have tacked up, I think. Uh, we'll see.
There we go, so Buckeye clamping on the body and Buckeye clamping on the headstock. I haven't stabilized this one yet. Uh, not entirely sure if I will because, uh, I don't know, I just can't be bothered really. I think if I just put a hard wearing finish on there, that would be okay for the headstock. It was more the body that I was concerned about not being uh, stable enough. And obviously with that, we've got the body drying, we've got the headstock drying. There's not a lot else I can do uh, <laughs> at this stage. So I'm gonna call it a day there, go home, edit a video and uh, see you in the next episode.